Hi, I'm Dan Walleen, and I'm excited to announce a new course on Pluralsight called Integrating Angular with Node.js RESTful Services. Throughout this course, you're going to see how an Angular client can communicate with a service, and that particular service will also talk with a database. Now, along the way, we'll talk about Angular components, modules, talk about RxJS and observables, and much more. So here's a quick sneak peek to introduce what's available in this new course. Now, throughout the course, you'll see firsthand how Angular and Node.js can be used to build an application that allows users to view customer data, page through it, and then perform insert, update, and delete operations. This includes learning how to move data from a database all the way down to an Angular client using RESTful services. As data is modified in the client, you're also going to learn different techniques for sending that data to the service so it can be stored in the database. This will include building git, put, post, and delete operations in the RESTful service. The course starts out by talking about key technologies used in the sample application. This includes an overview of RxJS and the key functionality it provides. You'll also learn about observables and the role they play in performing asynchronous operations in an Angular application to work with data, and we'll talk about how to subscribe to those observables. On the server side, you'll learn about Node.js and Express and how they can be used to define RESTful endpoints. We'll walk through the process of creating git, post, put, and delete routes that a client can call into, and we'll add code to handle calling MongoDB to perform CRUD operations and return the appropriate response to the client. You'll also examine how Angular services and the HTTP client can be used to make async calls to the RESTful service and retrieve data. You'll see how observables returned from the Angular service can be subscribed to by Angular components to display and capture data. Toward the end of the course, you'll also see how HTTP headers can be used in the application to page data and prevent CSRF attacks. Throughout the course, you'll see how components can subscribe to observables and render data in the user interface using child components. This includes discussing input and output properties and how they can be used to pass data in and out of components. The course will also discuss different form techniques, including template-driven forms and reactive forms, and highlight the differences between them. So let's get started and jump right in.